Hello everyone, Maria McKay here, and welcome back to part 3 of Castle Westfield 2. Seems you've bloodied your now, I times. know that an awful lot of time has passed since part 2 was released. And uh, for those of you who weren't paying attention, that was because in the middle of doing this, I had that catastrophic uh, crash of my Oblivion game and had to start everything over from scratch. And Obliv or, uh, Viconia and Velia were more of a pressing matter of finishing those two mods than finishing the, the review for this one. So, but, we're back, everything's, um, everything's back in order. Mods, I just recently reinstalled it. Uh, I'm not getting any of those weird glitches like I was getting last time I was here. Which is good. It's probably a sign that the, the thing was going to crash. Um, and I'm choosing to do this. This is going to be me and Sephiria's home for a while. A little bit. It's a little bit more central location than that hideout of hers. Whoa, she was freaking out. Okay. So I know last time I was complaining that there should have been a building here and there wasn't. Uh, that was my mistake. That the building that is here comes along later in the quest line. I just had got it a little ahead of myself. Alright, so let's go get the next part of the quest. Hello there. You know, I saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resident. Seriously? Sure, why not? I can't argue with that. Two new entries related to the castle have been added to your journal. Okay, so let's read the journal entries. Okay. All the people here are agreed on this. I've become a resident of the castle. Many rooms and places are now open for me. Yet there are some with restricted access still. I think I can live with this for now. And Herondotus, well, he's always full of ideas how to improve things around. Which, all of these are usually fueled by my money. Not a surprise there, as it seems I'm the only person here who travels the world and plunders those dungeons. So be it. I should speak with him again, but not sooner than tomorrow. And then this one. Being resident has some benefits. One of these is to own a place to sleep. My room is in living quarters, which are accessible from the Great Hall. It has, it has a door with a shield above. My goods should be safe there. And I almost forgot to mention this. It is actually some sort of reward, isn't it? I didn't have to pay out anything that time. Okay, so let's check out these open, new open areas of the castle. So the living quarters are right across from the library area. And here's your room. It's got, like he said, it's got that shield above it, or he said, my journal entry said. Pretty fair, and you know, it's it's a sparse room, but you know what? If you're just starting out, this is a pretty good room. It's got lots of storage and a double bed, and that's really all you need. I don't think you would have to you didn't you have to pay out too much money to get to this point. But of course costs are just gonna go up from here on out. Uh let's look at the the rest of the living quarters. Probably their your bed is marked with a shield because a lot of these rooms look uh similar. 
and the rest of the staff comes here to sleep. Or I imagine the rest of the higher up staff comes here to sleep. As you can see, all these beds are owned. I'm kind of hurrying through here, but I want to look at other parts of the castle as well. It, uh, it opened up a lot, but, uh, you know, nothing's really been furnished. So. And here's the last room in the living quarters. And of course, as the journal entry said, you you should be able you know you should be able to store stuff in your uh, in your room, your room. Uh, the containers in there are non-responding. So that's the living quarters. So it also gives you access to more of the castles inside places and we're going to take a quick look at those. They're not very impressive yet, but they will be. So this is the this is the upstairs of the entry hall when you first come in. Tavern. Right now it's pretty sparse. A pleasure to speak with you. May I interest you in some of my fine Got ways? Some stuff, but not much. Got about 2,000 gold to barter with, though. That's not bad. Take care. Only a few tables in here. You can see there's room for improvement. Okay. We came in over there. Castle Garden. You're a sneaky looking sword. Am I? The study. There's nothing in here. Oh wait, there's a chair. There's one chair. Well met. Huh. Good to see you. Okay, that goes back up the main hall. Free hall. Main hall. Lord's Armory, the door is shut, silence and emptiness are behind. Eventually this is going to become all yours. And that Lord's Laboratory. Same thing if you try to open any of the Lord's stuff. Great Hall. Lord's Chamber. You look like someone who's comfortable in heavy armor. You look like you've swung a mace or two in your time. I'm gonna look in the map here in a minute, make sure I'm not going in circles. Castle services, okay. And again, pretty sparse, pretty empty. Good day. Yeah. Let's do business. Not much. But again, you got two thousand gold to barter with. Farewell. Huh. Is it a crime to take these things? Oh, they're just they're just for looks. Okay. All right. Let's see where I haven't been yet. Oh, I've been everywhere up here. Garden, tavern, main hall, services, great hall, great hall, armory, laboratory, chamber. Okay. So 
So let's go out to the main hall. Okay, so there's some rooms under the major staircase in here that I wanted to check out. Servants quarters. And pretty freaking empty. So there are gonna be more servants servants hired in the pa in the past. In the future. As long as you got the coin. There's a few bedding for a few servants that owned. No, it isn't. You can come down here and sleep if you wanted. But why would you when you have that bigger bed upstairs? It's my pleasure. Please continue. I offer the finest goods and lowest... Gotcha. Farewell. Okay. Next to this, castle and guest apartments. Now this is totally empty, except for her. A pleasure to speak with you. Let's do business. And you only got 1,000 gold. Bye. This is going to be, this will be a bar and these will be guest rooms eventually for your companions to stay in and then over here we got the dining hall. Uh. And again, it's completely empty. That door just goes back up to the main hall. And we got the kitchens. How are you? Fine. And you? We got some Hi. stuff in the kitchens. Good day. Well. Cellars unaccessible. At this I've point. been reading Fundamentals of Alchemy. I figure it can't hurt to learn something new. I've never read How are you? And this goes back out to the main hall. I've been better. What's the news from the other parts of Farewell. Tamil? Sounds like the Empire has hmm. Okay, well there we have the castle in a nutshell. You didn't really buy any improvements this time, this just got you um, you know, your own place to stay. So, uh, I'm not going to go look in those other buildings because nothing has changed in there since the last video. So, okay, so we got almost 14 minutes worth of footage, so I'm going to stop the video right here, right here, and we'll pick up part 14, part 14, <laughs> part uh, 4 next time. I will see you guys later.